I'm gonna say it. Voltour, a lot of people already discrediting them, already saying, who are these guys? Who, how, who, why, where, what? But, let me tell you something, Voltour is not a team to mess with, but they will be going up against a perennial favorite in Complexity Game, who's gone to the last two, maybe, I believe three majors, maybe four? They go back, and I can tell you, after Manila, they are probably feeling a little bit angry of what happened. They they still outplaced EG and Secret, and at least won one best of one, but they are now back in America, and they are first to go through these uh, regional qualifiers, and let me tell you, they are going to have to put in some work. Only the top three, of course, America. Only seven teams in it because of a... Apparently, roster instability runs rampant in North America. Who would have guessed? You can't force NA Dota to stick together, but you can force them to get the hell out of the tournament because, you know, only seven teams compared to the ten teams another, and what do we got? We got Complexity vs. Voltour, we're gonna have FDL, Digital Chaos, EG, Void Boys, There's Drinking Boys, can't forget about the boys that drink. You got the boys in blue, you got the boys that drink, and... A lot of teams, and it, it, it it's gonna be a scary lineup. I think the new, with Void Boys coming into it now, uh... You don't know the upsets they can bring. Patzel being one of the greatest players of our generation. It's going to be interesting. But here we have Complexity versus Voltor. And look at that instant pick life stealer on the banning phase. We see a, a, a Timber. Timber and Avenger getting banned out by Complexity. I like it. And then I love the Wisp ban by Voltor. Obviously, a lot of teams know Complexity loves running Tiny Wisp a lot. Doombringer as well. Banned out. And look at this, the Darkseer, Ricky. We have seen this through the opening qualifiers almost 24-7 in the NA scene. And... I'm liking this. I'm liking the Darkseer Ricky pick from Voltour, but look at this. Com Life Stealer Oracle immediately picked up. An Oracle can purge a lot of stuff, and we don't even know what Voltour can pick that Oracle can purge. There's going to be three different heroes, and Oracle's just going to be zooping on all of them. Life Stealer, though. The Life Stealer is just an extremely good hero. The built in BKB, the extreme late game, the being able to escape Rage TP. Go into a creep they can't attack, a lot of different things, and the built-in lifesteal, meaning, hey, I got six item slots, what do you have? A lot of teams have to pick up that satanic lifestealer. Does not, my friends. Grant, what were your thoughts on Vultor Gaming's invite, you know? I'm still not set on him. I think they need to prove themselves. Did they prove themselves? Not yet, but... I think if they came in game one, if they beat Complexity Gaming, not only is Complexity so tilted they could go 0-6, but Voltor Gaming goes 7 -0. What if they beat EG, Complexity, and DC, and all the haters, myself included, they just discredited Voltor, and now they're 6-0. They're, they're literally... You have to win. If you win six games in a row, you have one of those days, two days in a row, and you win six games in a row in best of ones, you're literally going to TI. That's how it is in America. Boom. Six six games. All you need, maybe even just five games won, and you are going to TI. That would just be absolutely insane if that happened. We'll see, though. Slow bands now coming out. TA band, interesting. No Invoker band. I think uh, most people probably on Voltour know DDX. Famed player, I think, 2011, 2012, came into the scene. He played for Root Gaming with fluff and stuff multiple other people and he was known invoker player and we have not seen a ban or a pick from him but i think if he gets through the second phase you might be seeing that other players you might notice algodon from isurus gaming argentina as well he has been on quite a few teams i remember casting him in canada cup i think two or three seasons ago and very good player complexities turn to ban We used to go to Elvis, known as Visco. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserved. A player by the name of Bleak, who went to Absolute Legends in TI2, went to TI2 with them, played on the Nar V2 squad last year, and the team that upset the European boys from. You guys remember Team Tinker. Europe thought they could come and dominate our scene. But Bleak, a.k.a. Chad, captained a team of misfit ragtag beat-em-up dolls. 
and destroy Team Tinker, sending Bulba crying back home. Will we see it this year? Can Void Boys defend the North American Pride? Can Voltour Gaming defend against Complexity bringing Europeans over? DC doing as well. Can EG do it themselves? Looking at that North American Qualifier 1, uh, you bet your pretty little britches EG is going to be the team to beat now along with DC. AM ban, I think that's smart. And a best of one, heroes like AM, if played, if your team gets a little bit of a lead, they win some 4v5 fights while AM's farming, AM can just be an unstoppable force. And there's no immovable objects that can really stop an AM Lakin like that. And look at this, Voltour picks up the Dazzle. So we have the Ricky Dazzle support duo as well as the Dark Seer in the offlane. And wow, both teams picking both their supports very early, not wanting to get banned out. And I like it. The Z Freak Earth Spirit. If you don't know about that, then you probably don't watch much Dota. But Z Freak, many consider to be the best player on this team. Besides those those brothers, I consider Z Freak uh, a top tier. He is insanely talented. The craziest thing, he does not play pub games. The man is like 4.5 KMMR. And Z Freak, you see him in game. The man makes more plays than Wayne Gretzky. And Wayne Gretzky, in his prime, was considered to be better than Ken Griffey Jr. Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, when he played baseball, it's just, it's, it's something different. It's something a lot of people don't realize that having a high MMR is great. It gets you noticed, but you have players like Z Freak, you have players like Mason, a TI3 third placer, 4K MMR. That means even you, the viewer, with your 4K MMR could one day be on Evil Genius's Bat Rider picked up. That's looking like a mid Bat Rider. I know... South Americans love their mid bat rider. You know Smash from Elite Wolves. He loves that hero. And in scenes, you'll see a lot of same picks for a lot of different people. So the South American team loves that middle bat rider. This is interesting. This means it is going to be a single DPS core on Voltour Gaming already. And Complexity knows that now from that pick. So we'll see how they choose to respond. They have the lifestyle. They already have their damage core. Could they go for another damage mid? Like a, even maybe a Quap? I mean, you know, I'm looking. I'm looking at it. I think Complexity will choose to go with a, a double core, a double DPS core, unlike Voltor Gaming. So they secure the late game and Batrider middle, though. What do you put against him? I think that's what Complexity's thinking. They're like, we know counters, but we need him to be useful in the early game and Juggernaut. Now we don't know. We've seen a lot of middle Juggernauts. We've seen a lot of middle Juggernauts. We've seen a lot of... Solos, or no, I mean, uh, core juggernauts in the safe lane, too. And I like what they did there. Complexity not showing their hand. If they're going to pick another carry, or if they're going to show juggernaut mid, we don't know. Tide Hunter. So they think it's going to be an offlane. I guess that makes sense. There is the life stealer. The thing with Oracle, you can throw an Oracle life stealer into the offlane against uh, maybe, maybe teams you don't consider as good. We'll see what Complexity thinks, but more than likely they do want an offlaner. And I think the Tide Hunter is a really good band. Can't let them get their hands on that. Swindle has shown his Tide Hunter is one of the best watermelons in the game. The man is seedless too. You know when you're eating a watermelon, you think about it. You're like, hmm, do I want a seed watermelon or a seedless watermelon? And myself, I like the seeds. I like being able, you know, the white seeds are just water you can eat, and the black seeds even you can eat. And I love rind, watermelon rind. Ooh, and the half watermelon slardar. Man's looking still 8-bit, but I'm sure one day he will he will upgrade to PlayStation 1 instead of Super Nintendo, and we'll be happy with it. But I like the Slardar. I think Swindle, he's a very do s player with it. So it's going to be a Juggernaut middle, more than likely. They could put Jugger Juggernaut or Life, so they could switch it up. Both of them having that magic immunity, piercing through the... Uh, you get like five stacks on you, both have ways to get out of it. That's super smart. Vulture needs a super high DPS hero here, and they get the Sven. Okay. I was thinking something like either Sven, or I was even looking at a Drow Ranger, but you only have the Bat Rider, I guess, and this is going to be it. We have DDX playing the middle Bat Rider. We're going to have Algonon Chin, formerly of Azurus Gaming, a former land winner down in South America, going to be playing on that carry Sven. We're going to have... And we're going to have Elvis. Look, in both teams taking a little bit to play, but yep, the offline Slardar, Chessy. Chessy, Limp Hanskin, the Swedes. 
love Swedes. Swedes are like the secondary Americans, if you think about it. What do we have? We have Weppis and Scriff. You have a old EG and Narvi manager, Yuli. Quite a few Swedes love the Americans. They understand we're a little bit more sophisticated. Well, Dota 2 players with the most last hit at seven minutes. I gotta go with my hmm, DX middle, or I gotta go with my boy Sven. Team who plays most observer wards at game end. I mean, you gotta go complexity, most stacked. It's gotta be Voltour. You've gotta give the Sven stack creeps. Oh, number of ancient camps 21 plus. Easy. And team with the most kills. Grant, are you crazy or are you insane? Some people said I was both. But a double negative means that I am completely sane. I've got to go with the safe bet in complexity. Throw that over. And let's just go down the list here. Complexity Gaming, straight down here. We've got Swindle going to be playing that off lane Slardar. Looks like we are going to be having Z Freak roaming middle. Looks like purple. Chessy going bomb, so will be the juggernaut middle. I think that's fine. Spin, take off the goo. Going middle. Chessy playing Life Stealer in the safe lane. Z Freak. The Zed Freak, I believe, is what he likes to go by in his Canadian form. Playing on that roaming Earth Spirit. And a Radiant Earth Spirit is one of the most dangerous of all time. If you don't have that ward somewhere around here, you are going to be getting rolled on. A lot. Handskin playing that Oracle. And the man loves ASAP Rocky. If you don't know ASAP Rocky, he's made one of the greatest songs in the past 10 years in Ghetto Symphony featuring Coldplay. No, Coldplay, Gunplay. I'm sure they're one and the same. On the other side, Stand and Negro going to be playing on that support, Ricky. We're going to have DDX, the Invoker Champion, going to be playing on that Bat Rider. We're going to have Chun God playing on the offlane Dark Seer. We're going to have Visco, aka Elvis, playing on that Dazzle. And we have Al Gadon playing on the Sven. And honestly, it'll be interesting to see Sven already skilling up stun. Doesn't even go for the early Warcry. What if you need to run at somebody? Well, too bad. Doesn't matter. And looks like we're going to have the top lane going to be secured by the Dire. Bottom rune by the Radiant. Honestly, should be fine. Juggernaut going stick first, obviously. He knows he's going versus the Batrider. DDX is not a lane switcher. They, you can't really do anything else middle anyways. They kind of set up, well, think about if they sent a Darkseer middle, which they won't. But if they did, I think we've learned if ifs and nuts are cherries and butts... Christmas comes once a year. Might, most likely not going to happen. Smart play. Only got one tangle. We'll see if Hanskin, Hanskin shares another one with them. So both teams getting their rune. Bat goes boots first into the healing salve. Okay. Interesting. We'll see if he flies himself some tangles at 125 gold. More than likely will, but maybe not. He knows he can't really get harassed by Juggernaut. And he knows if an Earth Spirit flies onto him, you're going to be having a lot of trouble there. Like, a Tangle's not going to save. You're going to have an Earth Spirit on you. You're going to have a spin on you. You're just going to die. And there we go. First stack already going to be up. Grant, what are you doing here? Let's throw up the last hit. So nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to not coming out from Limp. Uh, a lot of people don't realize. Middle lane is all about those first two waves. It's all about, to the ranged creep. The fact Limp got that denied, that is 90 experience. That is very much insane. How do you get rid of this? That is... Was definitely not needed here, but whatever. Limp six stacks on him. If he gets that seventh or eighth stack, there has to be a way to get rid of this. I am very annoyed by it. Whatever. I'm sure someone will help me out one day. Limp lets the stacks run off him. He's doing very well. Three zero last hits. Nothing too crazy right now. Al get on just farming up. And that's what he has to do. Very much so. Chassis. Farming as well. Five and over, six and one. Uh, Sven obviously goes up, and we see Limp trying to spin. That's a boost for his bat rider, though, my friend. You are not going to be doing anything to him. Uh-oh, Stan and Negro now coming in. Ooh, oh, oh. Looked like he wanted that poison orb hit. Couldn't get it. That was a smart go back by Limp. I think he has to know. He has to know this Ricky is just standing here right now. And he does, look at him, sit back, super smart. I'm surprising he's not going over here stack creeps. Maybe he's waiting. He's still got about 10 seconds. He wants to get these creeps. And look at this, pink goes away. I don't see a sentry. No sentry from Radiant. He just knows. Lift. A little bit smarter than the average bear here. Just backs up now. Goes forward for the last hits. And middle. Batrider 7-2 and two versus the Juggernaut 4-3. and three. So, I mean, a little bit of a lead for the Batrider. But nothing too big. Top lane, though. They have the sentry ward down. Swindle is going to see him. He pings out. He needs to get the stomp off, I think. Oh. 
He's playing like he doesn't have a sentry ward. I like it. Oh no, nice double stun. He comes out. He still hasn't shown he has a sentry ward. This is actually super smart by Swindle. See how he didn't ever target Ricky or show him? And the stun looks like he just stunned the Dazzle. I love it. Not giving away a sentry ward is super smart by the Swin Diddly Melons. Like it. Rune. Picked up Bounty Rune for the Oracle. Excellent. Double damage rune coming out. And that could be a lot of damage on the limb. You get one or two stacks up here and yikes. And nice. Sentry comes out by Z freaking. I don't think they saw that, so. This set say is gonna have a bad time here. Oh, they're going up Swindle Melt. Is he gonna get smoked up? He is. Could he be getting first blood? He goes going in for the hit. And we get first blood coming from Algadon. And Voltor already. Oh, but DDX, then he goes over the boots. Voltor with a great start already. Oh my goodness, and they have the sentry, but man, you get manhandled by my boy Visco, aka Elvis, looking like Elvis Presley singing into the mic in the first blood for his team here, and Swindle comes back, he's level 3 though, he is getting a lot in the offlane, what are we looking like for the other team, Darks here level 4, I think he's been more jungling, of course with the Iron Town first, we see creep stacks already coming up, he could go bottom now if he wants, we'll see what he chooses to do, if he wants to get the quick 6 in the jungle, or if he wants to maybe disrupt a little bit of the farm bottom, and skin. Just pulling, farming, level three now. Middle lane, they have the spin up and they're going for him. Is he gonna get it? Yes, sir, the spin comes. Teams with most kill complexity passing Voltour. I believe one is actually equal to one. Even with my math, I know I'm in that third grade math level, but from what I have seen, one is equal to one. Unless you're doing mind math. I was talking about this earlier. Mind math is different. The world was gonna end in 2012, they said, but it was determined it was human error when they were chiseling in the stone. That instead of 2012, it was supposed to be 3,012. So we have another thousand years to wait, and... I've been talking with my doctor, and I've been hoping to live that long. I believe he said, with the healthy thing I'm going, I could very much live until... 125, and we have him going in on Chun God. He's gonna just easily get out of your haste. And Chun's taking a lot of damage. Z Freak sees me grow on the backside. We're gonna see Chun now trying to go in him, and they're gonna take him down. What a turnaround. Chessie looking like he might die, but instead they get the kill on the Ricky. Chun God. Just gonna stay here. Maybe he should go back to jungle. Nice. Gets the Siege Creep with the. With the Iron Shell, and he purges it off. And that is what we see. The Darks here gets picked up into the Oracle, purging that Iron Shell, but look at. You only have so much mana for that, my friends, and yikes. Middle lane, DDX, needs to kill that ward. Ooh, God's name? He still hasn't killed the ward yet, and apparently he's gonna live, let's take so much here. He's gonna spin the whole nice dodge on the boulder spin, but the boulder smash comes out, and see ya, limp, moving up. That was a, a sick bait, that was a sick bait, that's a spin. Spin taking out the goose axe is all you really need. Nice, nice, nice play. My goodness, the change. Cold Chessie actually, wait, is it, Cold Chessie passes himself to take the lead. Come on, man. You're not competing with yourself, you're competing with the other teams. I do not know what's going on with that, but we have some algorithms. We as well have Algadon, who could be an algorithm as his own, but who knows? Treads, up now. Storm, but whoa, 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 whoa. I don't believe we have seen this build in a long time. Max, usually you see it's a 1-3-1 one, one build. We have the three and stun. He wants that early game damage. He is their late game farmer too. He is a single core spin. Wow. Um, Grant, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, I like it. I like aggressive play, but I'm not sure with this. They might want to win this game early now if they're doing the damn. Get him, son. Beat yourself again. Screw it, Chessie. Do it. Chessie, though, just farming level 6, doing very well now. It's 44 to 44. 8 denies, though, from the spend. We see him actually going in on Chun God. Is he going to get perched up? Yes, sir, indeed. This could be a very quick kill. Chessie, obviously, feast not much, but that instant cast point E purifying flames. Wait, he's talking to himself. He's feeling himself. It is a guy, not a girl, I've learned. Not all guys need to, like... He has a very good knack, honestly. That is that is a good knack line. I can respect that. No Clef Chen, of course. And from what I've heard, the ladies love the Clef Chen, but that's neither here nor there. We're going to have Smoke Gang coming. Z Friggin' Limp, and they're going to find DDX in here. Are they? No, yes, sir. Get that Omni Slash. And he is now 3 0 and 0. He is level 7. DDX is only level 5. He was trying to do stacks, but he can't even get 6 yet. After the first blood happened top, it has been all down here for the boys from Argentina. 
Argentina? Argentina. It could go one or the other, honestly. I don't know. Oh, and the sentry from Dyer barely picks it out. Nice, nice, nice. Wow, that is... That, okay. That is good to know. That rock, that is where it was. That is right out of frame. That, that was a good, that was a nice ward. Damn. But they kind of knew it was there, so they get a good deny ward. Look at the golden experience craft. Wow, 3,000 in favor of complexity. About 2,500 experience. My man, though, Visco. A.K.A. Elvis. Honestly, I'll say it. Elvis was overrated. Okay. So, you have Elvis, right? And then you have that you have the impersonator in Vegas, Fat Elvis. And apparently he does a very good impersonation, but Elvis as a singer. Besides Hound Dog, how many more songs can you name? Honestly, I could barely name Hound Dog. But you have people like Drake coming up nowadays. And Drake is like the rich man's version of Elvis, honestly. Oh! He just, he didn't even care about the rune. My boy Limp just went up there, boosted that bounty rune. Looking like a bank heist getting that extra gold. I like it. Hanskin. Was he warding? Yes, sir. Warding up here. Gets the vision right there if he really wants to. Chessie, though, farming. Just farming. That's all he really needs to do. Whoa, where are you? Looking like uh, some real, some real piece of work. I think he is. Oh, he's just going to try. Is he going to go for denies? No, he's just going to try to kill the Iron Shell. Smart. Now he can't deny him the Siege Creep. That, that's huge. That is very, very huge. That was a lot of HP, and he is going to go for that armlet still. Does he have flying out? No. It's a little bit behind. One phase boots first. Nothing big happening. Limp, Limp is almost level 9 compared to the Bat Rider. Only level 6. Limp is... Limp is definitely not Limp right now. He is very strong. Negro, just trying to farm out middle. And... Uh oh, the spin coming in. They see him, and the dust gets popped. My goodness, he is going to get dropped so quick. There we go. Wait a minute. There was a stack camp right... How does that only one? What? The current one. But th this camp was stacked. It stacked already once and killed. Oh, ancient. Whoops. All right. Well... Huh. That is, uh... That's on me, folks. I really hope no one followed me there into the abyss of eternal suffering. Much where TC is going after he couldn't qualify to the opening qualifier shot to Void Boys. Snuffing them hard in a best of one. You're gonna see them being able to play later. They're scary. Snake King, the Eternal Optimist. But right now, Complexity and Voltour just going head to head and not looking good right now for Voltour. About 5,000 each experience and gold. But Chessie, just farming up. Nothing too crazy right now. Has his armlet. Can easily push. I don't know. The Sven did not go the farming build, and this is going to kill him, honestly. This is going to kill him. Let's get him. Let's just follow my boy Algodon. Shiny sword. It's got that rune blade. Got that gun blade. Well, not a gun blade. I wonder if gun blades would actually work in the real world. You know, Squall slash Cypher. I mean, people have obviously cosplayed him before. But could a, could a gun blade actually be used, like, by the police? That'd be sick as hell. Like, you just have, like, some sort of crazy, like, a shoplifting thing, and the, like, freaking officer, something just comes in with that gun blade, and you're doing what you can do. That's about it. Stand in Negro. Just bottom still. Iron shelled up. Nothing big going on. Orange. Standing around bottom. Iron shell very much useless right now. Especially if you group up. You have two melee people. And then you just have one Q coming out. Fortune's End purifies them both off. There's no longer Iron Shells. Let's see if he does it right here. Is he going to? He's going to lit up. He wants it to push in, maybe. Yep. He's going to go for the knives. Misses it. Oh. Teal's a creep. Nothing big really going on here. Z-Freak, though. Has dust again and an urn. Good, good. Uh-oh. He knows. Chessie knows. He was Iron Shelled. Ping's mid. Ping's bottom. I, I just don't know. Don't know what Voltour can do right now to come back into this. The Sven didn't go the farming build. He's farming, but he went stun max first. That is, that is interesting, I would say. Interesting. You know that is one of the hardest words to spell in the real world? Interesting. Because you either have interesting or interesting. Do you put the E after the R, or does the O come after the I? It's like a case in case of weird. 
I believe it was a saying. Wait. I before E, except before weird. Except Chun God actually getting, and he's gonna be gone on again. He's gonna appear by flames. Oh my goodness, can the instant cast point of the E come out again? Yes, sir! Hits it. Oh no, Dazzle has come in at a very bad time. Blown up again. I'm going hands, he's going hands. Negro is actually gonna dust it up. We're gonna see Sven coming. Sven's already dead. What happened? Oh, he got ulted by the Limpster. We have DDX now coming in. There's a, it's a 3v5 though, and the Sven's inside. He's gonna pull Zebra again. What an ulti by Hansky, and they're just playing so poorly. Negro's gonna try to go in with the fire. Oh no, and he gets pure fight again. Chessie's going in. Can he get DDX? You're gonna be running out very soon, but he's doing so much damage. He has to get out. Negro's gonna heal up as well. Zebra stuns nobody. Oh, he dies to the tower fire. DDX. Nice, nice. Kran is a three-point trade, how nice. You have to realize, for every gold, Daz only 200, Darks are only 200, 473 for killing the Z-Freak. And they almost, almost had that mix. Of course, now he heals up and... You see that Echo Saber? The Echo Lance. It looks more like a Lance. A Saber is like what the Pirates use, right? Or is that a Rapier? That doesn't... Okay, wait a minute. Trapier, the trap god, rapier. This does not look like a rapier. If we are talking extreme amounts of lore, a rapier is actually the handle is is four. Uh, I can't show you. It's a four finger grip. We actually have a ult Algodon, Algodon Chin, defender of Argentina, farming up some good stacks. That's good. That's good. He needs to, oh no, we have the king. Oh, Nero blocks it up, and he gets the stuff. What a smoke. Oh my goodness, they need to try to bring down Chessie. They're aiming the wrong people. He gets fortune ended on the backside. Oh no, it's all about the armless hug. And never mind, Algodon's just getting Alga bodied right now. Oh my goodness, Archer comes in, but he doesn't hit anyone with it. Where's the batsman? Ego now going to try to run away. What a blink in by Swindle. He has tough three of them. Algodon's still going to chase. I do not know. He's not dead. We do see Chunga going down as well as Algodon now. They're chasing everyone. Whoa, from downtown. Doesn't quite get him, though. Healing wards. It's gonna heal up. What do you guys think? 10k each? Okay, 7500 and 7500 each. See? You can't over extravagate. Is that the word? Oh no, Negro gets gone again. Z Freak just rolled and we have Swindle. Oh, just hits him. Hits him hard. That's an 11 to 2 game right now. Boy, this is looking like. Like if Veggie Gaming played EG. Of course, Veggies is complexity. <laughs> they don't stand a chance. You have two of the best players of all time, Black and CLG Ling. You, know, you can't lose. Chunga running up top now. DDX here as well. He has Blink. Okay. So they have some game changing items. But Chessie unfortunately has more items than ever. Oh, okay. They get him off. He doesn't have his own line. He doesn't have his break. They need Negro to get in here. And smoke, he gets the smoke up. But he does get that off as well. They push him back into the smoke. He's going to get out. He jumps into the creep. He's now running. Run, little man. Run. They're going to try to haste somebody, but he's just getting blocked now. Oh, and they have to back out. No. Think if that kill happened. That would have been a lot, a lot of gold. We see the arm going to come out of spend now. No blink early. I mean, if you go max stun, I feel you have to go blink. I think Algodon was in the wrong here. Oh dear. Oh, oh my. He literally just got two shotted. But he gets the grave off. Oh, the juke! Looking like Barry Sanders out here. Limp. Looking like Gale Sayers, though. He's coming right back on him. Easily picked off. See Swindle going in. Crown. That's a dazzle. Oh, yeah. Chun got all. They have the amp down. They see where he's at. Swindle blink up. Now, bam! Stun. Limp coming in. Is he going to ult? Yes, sir. Take him. 13 to 2. Limp unstoppable. Look at this net worth. Whoa. Looking good. Swindle, after getting first blooded, you know, sometimes getting first blooded is good. You give them more net worth, so when you get the next 20 kills, you're winning the game, you know what I mean? It's smart, honestly. Lento. The Manta first seems to be popular, Quilla into Manta. A lot of stuff you can get out of. Literally anything. You can even jump off cliffs with Manta if you're skilled enough. I wouldn't say he's my level. I've been known to literally play 24 hours a day and just mant off cliffs. Grant, is that really possible? Well, I don't know. Oh, and the jump into the mine! Goodness, Pink gets blown up! Algodon, early grave on him. Gets here by E. Uh, I don't want to say he's dead, but it, it's a pretty damn good chance. Ooh. I think if when you're spinning, you mant they come out spinning. But they don't do damage. There's magic to me. That would be broken, Grant. Indeed. We see Lim farming up now. Swindle pushing the base. What? It's only 16 minutes in? My goodness, this game is quicker than the last girl I dated. Went to Dave and Buster's. I told her, we're only playing Fruit Ninja. I, she's like, but Grant, I want to go play Time Crisis. No, 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 no. Fruit Ninja, put $40 in Fruit Ninja, got the top 10 high scores. People were mad. Especially because I wouldn't get off. You know they put the quarter to signify their next? Nah. 
It's not on my watch. I'm playing Fruit Ninja, and you're not going to stop me. Melee Rex gets taken. Oh, Boulder. Dang, from downtown. Hits the Chun God. Hits the Ricky. Just Tranquil up. Nothing much happening here, really. It's just Complexity playing a very, very, very good game right now. That's all you really need in life, a good game. 2.2k. I This is more than likely a Juggernaut Link, but he would have sold it. He would have sold an item to get it already. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's going a more game-changing item. Maybe an Echo Saber Juggernaut. Yo, that is... That's not bad now that I think about it. Think about the stats you get. As well as the extra hit, it's usually going to be a crit, because... Okay, let's look at it. Once you max at 35%, and 35%, okay, if you do 35% out of 100%, three times, it's still a 35% chance. Now, people will say there's diminishing effects. They could be right, they could be wrong. Sometimes nobody's right. Chessie, getting an easy power, though. Echo Saber, oh, boy, howdy. What the heck? Echo Saber armlet phase death, so at 18 minutes, there is no way this is under 12. 17,000, about 12,500 experience. This is looking rough for Voltorb. There's some sort of fight going on here. There's a wall used. Power actually gets part of my bad. Hitting them T-Tours up on you. Chun God and Visco gonna try to run away. Hanskin just picks up. Ricky on the back. Whoa, from downtown Z Freaks going in. Kenny picking one up. No, he's trying to run poison touch up on him. We see Chun God just gonna keep you away. Nothing else gonna happen, so they take that. That is a 247 kill for a 500 on Slardar. Wow, that is a that is a two death swindle negative score right now in a sixteen to three game. Sixty six point seven percent of the deaths repeating, of course, if you knew. DDX still just farming has a four step. Okay, like it's gonna be tough. You have three DPS cores if you include Slardar, which super light game you would versus a Sven. Plus Darkseer, I mean, making illusions of the other team, and if the other team's super farmed, then your Darkseer is farmed. It's Ooh, that is interesting. I feel like they might have done that on purpose. Limp though, doing himself. Feeling himself. Weave cat up. I just love how it waves you. Like, I am not the anime fan, but if this cat came up to me in real life and waved at me like at a furry con, damn right I'd give it a hug. Look at him. Hello. We see Nakes inside of the Slardar. I think right now, yeah, Hanskin, Aether Lens. This fortune ends literally from the 20 yard line, he's doing that two point conversion. Fine. Defusal Blade, oh yeah. I still like Blink, I think Blink's better than Defusal. The fact is, they have the initiation, they have the Slardar, uh, Slardar Nakes, who can always jump in with the Nakes being inside Slardar. So they don't need him to initiate, he just needs to run in with Phase Boots. I guess that's, yeah, he's right. Grant, you know the players are more than often right, that's true. I don't have a, I don't have a focus. Pros are usually right. They must play basketball. I could play basketball, but I never, oh my god! We're going with the triple set into the Z3! We already see Ricky going, oh my goodness! Oh no, Algodon, do they have a stun? Do they have a, oh, the full staff into the smash arena! And here we go, z Freak's now going on, Chung got run, run, run! The bonus is like, oh, he dodges it, oh no, DDX blinks into it, they see him. Dazzle goes down as well, can he get away? Yes! But my boy Chun God will get away as well, so there's a little bit of positivity there, but this tower is already going down. Look at that, oh, look at that, I didn't see Chunks fall off the tower when you hit it now, only a couple though. Swindle going in deep. The Ricky. Looking, looking a little rough on the farm side of that. We board up. And, well, Limp's just gonna body this by himself. That's unhealable damage always. No, Cramp. Melees can heal. Oh, yeah. Oh, the blink gets done. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, the stun comes in from Sven. Hit two of them. The dust comes out. Can Negro get a kill? Oh, uh, uh, of course he can. Chun got all my... I don't know if we can talk about this game right now. This is... This might be illegal in some states. Alabama, Mississippi, Texas. Legal in Colorado, everything is, and the good game gets called out. Chun God the Master comes in hot, does his thing. Yo, first blood though, come the Volt Tour. It was a good kill on Swindle. Let's see how I did. Of course, of course. This, I thought it was regular camps. That's on me, y'all. Of course. Yo, look at this. Volt Tour Algodon had the most last hits. Y'all thought I was a hater. Called it. I mean, I do what I do when I do it. And. Ooh. 
Fantasy negative one. Hope no one had them on his team. He is looking like LeBron James three years ago. Grant, 